Hello, I'm John Thorne from Thorny Motorsport, and this is a slightly different video from us. It's I'd like to explain and perhaps detail our recent comments regarding car sales. Now, a couple of things worth noting. I got into the McLaren market because I was passionate about the car. Less so about the brand, but the car itself. And I was passionate of it. I owned one myself consistently last 10 years. And what I saw was a car that I thought there was an opportunity to look after customers properly. And the last 10, 11 years, we have built, I think, a successful business where we are simply servicing and maintaining owners' cars for them to a good level. Recently, so 18 months or so ago, we came to the conclusion that we saw too many horror stories where people would come in, they would ring up and they'd ask us to inspect a car for sale. We were too busy to do it or the time frame we get them in wasn't long enough, so they would buy the car and they would come into us for its first service and we would be met with a car that was borderline dangerous. Now this happened consistently over probably a year and a half, or nearly two years, to a point in time that it was frustrating for us and it was disappointing for the owners to come in and say, I bought this wonderful car from XYZ and it needed X amount of work. Now, there's no fun doing that if twice a week you have a customer coming in all keen and happy with this brand new McLaren or second hand McLaren um, and then I'll say look I'm really sorry sir you've got two broken springs leaking shock and all the bits that we know from these cars happen and then to have that person go back to supplying dealer of the car and be told sorry mate tough luck so 18 months or so ago two years ago we decided that we would offer a limited sale or return market where we wanted to get the cars in prepare them so they were perfectly good and then have them come to new customers. And we did this on sale and return, which means we have no stake in the car. We're not buying and selling McLaren. We've got a car in. We want to look after the proper owner, prepare it properly for the new owner. So when that owner goes down the pub with his mates and says he's got this new McLaren, and they say, how has it been? His statement is wonderful, brilliant, no problems at all. That's how you enhance the brand. You get the new owners coming in with happy experiences. Now, sometimes I say success uh, begets failure. And this is an example where I think we have happened to us and we have handled it poorly. What we have had is over the last five or six months, I suppose, is what we considered initially would be good owners coming in and selling their cars through us to get a good price themselves and a good car for the new owner. And sadly, we have had now a succession of owners where their mentality and motivation on their car is less than honorable. To give you an example, We've had a couple of cars come in here now where they have been recovered in and they have needed tens of thousands of pounds worth of work to even to be drivable, let alone to be legal. And we've had the situation where these customers are saying, please sell my car, please get the work done. Now, our motivation uh, is, is twofold. Firstly, we're a business. Of course, we make a profit on working on cars. There's nothing wrong with that. But it gets to a point in time where we have cars come in that need 20, 30, 40 hours worth of work to be prepared. It is now having a knock-on effect on our existing customer base. So if my customers can't come get in here for six to eight weeks because I'm full of sales cars I'm trying to prepare, I'm not doing my customers a service. So what we have had in the last few weeks is a bit of a frustration, borne out by me in terms of maybe some ham-fisted comments how I've said it, that we are frustrated of frankly having crap brought to us with the expectation we can then prepare it and sell and get a good price for it. Now our intention was always to take a bad McLaren, make it a good McLaren, and then so a new owner is a happy person. And I'm happy to say in the 70 odd McLarens we sold last 18 months, every single person has been positive. The car that we have supplied them has given them joy and fun and no issues to the concern of. That's quite an impressive record to have. But what we have had is a couple of people sometimes overtly, complain that they are unhappy with the fact we have to do work on their car to sell it and all the time it takes to get done. Now, I can only apologize for time. There's nothing I can do about that when we're waiting for parts for cars. But when I get a stroppy email or a, sort of a conversation from someone who tells me their car is perfect and we have to put 10,000 pounds and more into the car so it's prepared for sale and then have that person question that work, despite the fact it was detailed, imaged, pictured, and communicated and confirmed before we did the work, it's pretty fucking frustrating. And to the point in time that I've sat all last night thinking, do I bother doing car sales? She was knock on the head, give up. Just carry on looking after customers' curves. We were perfectly happy, perfectly successful doing that. Why do we bother? 
So our Keynes inclusion, let's just limit, let's just say any car that comes in needs significant work, we'll refuse to sell. Now perhaps my methodology of telling people was a bit brusque, I'm used to that. And perhaps there's an esoteric limit of £10,000 per car is a bit random. But what I'm trying to get across to people is that if you don't look after your McLaren and you bring it here for us to work on or us to sell on your behalf, you have to accept if it needs work, it needs work. If you don't want that, take it away. We don't demand you sell the car through us. We will give you a report on the car and you can take it away. All right, perfectly fine. We even do an inspection days now to try and catch up with this thing to keep people. We are not here to squeeze money out of people. But if we're going to sell a car, it's got my name on it and my warranty. And remember, my warranty is my money. It's not outsourced to a third party warranty company. That's me and my bank account backing that car. So it has to be right. So if you want us to sell a car and you want to get good prices for it, which we do, then you has to accept the fact works be done. All we are saying now is if a car comes in here and it needs significant work, then you have to accept the fact that it's going to take some time and we can't list your car in two weeks or B, take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere else who can sell it. Maybe they won't be as detailed. Maybe they won't be as concerned. Maybe they'll just put a bit of polish on it and stick it on the forecourt. I don't know. The downside is that doesn't help the McLaren in terms of used car market, which is what we are trying to do. So I'm sorry I'm doing this video. I'm sorry that perhaps my way of sharing my frustration of what we're seeing has alienated a few people. And I apologize for that. But what I won't apologize for is the quality work that goes out of this workshop. So if crap comes in, crap won't go out. All we are saying now is if it comes in a poor state, we reserve the right to say, you know what, sell it to somebody else, because we won't bother. All right, hopefully that explains things. Sorry to have done this, and I'm sorry to my existing customers. We will be slashing back some of our car sales now and being far more selective what comes in. It will limit the process so it won't affect my workshop as much as it has. That's the best thing for me and my customers. I hope you agree. Cheers.